now um, we give the floor to the NCD Alliance and World Heart Federation, followed by Vietnam. Honorable Chair, distinguished delegates, World Cancer Research Fund International is pleased to deliver this constituency statement on universal health coverage led by NCD Alliance and World Heart Federation, supported by Global Alliance for Tobacco Control, International Association for Hospice and Palliative Care, International Diabetes Federation, PATH, International Pharmaceutical Federation, International Society of Nephrology, the Royal Commonwealth Society for the Blind, Union for International Cancer Control, World Stroke Organization, and World Cancer Research Fund International. Universal health coverage is for service coverage, yet despite non-communicable diseases such as cancer, mental health conditions being the biggest global killer with circulatory diseases alone, including cardiovascular, stroke, diabetes, and kidney disease, causing more than 20 million deaths annually, current global coverage and access to NCD services across the continuum of care is inadequate. UHC will not be achieved so long as half of adults living with diabetes are undiagnosed and unable to access insulin. UHC is for population coverage, yet people in marginalized communities have a higher risk of dying from NCDs than the general population. UHC will not be achieved so long as we accept that 85% of premature deaths from NCDs occur in low and middle income countries. UHC is for financial coverage, yet globally financing for NCDs has been stagnant over the last 30 years, leaving people with NCDs feeling the financial burden. UHC will not be achieved unless we break the cycle of generational poverty caused by NCDs. In 2023, we call for member states to stand by their commitments to UHC by investing in, financing, and accelerating inclusion of essential NCD services, including for circulatory diseases across the continuum of care, including prevention, screening, diagnosis, acute and long-term treatment, rehabilitation and palliative care, and across the life course in national UHC benefit packages, guided by the WHO Global NCD Action Plan Best Buys, or Appendix 3, the Hearts Technical Package, and considering all healthcare providers. 90% of essential interventions for UHC can be delivered through primary care. Aligning global and national development and health priorities to achieve UHC, breaking down siloed approaches to funding and implementation in health systems, engaging people living with NCDs to keep UHC people-centered, including by formalizing opportunities for meaningful involvement of civil society in UHC governance and decision-making roles for policies and services. NCDs are a national issue, a global development issue, and an equity issue. We must accelerate UHC implementation by including quality NCD prevention and care services in country UHC health benefit packages. Thank you, Chair. Thank you.